Hello, welcome back to Crafty Cultured. In this video, I want to show you how to make a homemade bus soap. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click the red subscription button and the bell for notifications. Welcome to my channel. Now, I want to show you the things we need to make our homemade bus soap. First, uh, we need olive oil light olive oil you need sodium hydroxide which is caustic soda and this is a corrosive chemical so we need some pair of gloves to mix our solutions i will need essential oil for the fragrance i have my food scale for measurements. I have the mold tray. This is what will give our soap the shape we want. I have my mixing bowl. I have my measuring bowl. And finally, I have my hand mixer. Let's do it. We are going to measure our olive oil, 600 grams, and I'm using the light olive oil, so you can use your food scale to measure 600 grams of olive oil. Then, as I mentioned earlier, sodium hydroxide is a chemical which is corrosive. So I'm going to put on my gloves so that I can measure 79 grams of sodium hydroxide or you can call it caustic soda. You have to be careful with the caustic soda. It is corrosive to the skin. It is advisable you can wear a protective face mask and you can also wear protective glasses then we're going to measure 109 grams of water we will add water to the sodium hydroxide and this is where you have to be careful because the reaction uh, as you can see the reaction here the water is really warming up and you have to stir the, the solution so that the sodium hydroxide dissolve in water. We will add our sodium hydroxide solution to our olive oil, the light olive oil. Then we will try to stir so that it can blend with the sodium hydroxide. Now here, I'm going to introduce my handheld blender. You can use any type of blender. This is just to quicken the process of mixing the sodium hydroxide with the olive oil and water. Then I'm going to add 18 grams of essential oil. I'm using peppermint essential oil, but you can use an essential oil of your choice. So we'll do the final blending after we have added our essential oil so that we can have the right consistency. This is how my final blend looks like. Now I'm gonna put the mixture in a jar so that it can be easier for me to pour into the molding tray you can pour your soap your liquid soap into the molding tray you be careful so that it cannot spill and remember you can choose a molding tray of your choice you can choose the long bar tray you can choose different shape different design then we are going to cover 
our soap and put it in a cool and dry place. We have made our soap. It's in liquid form, but we have to wait so that the liquid solution can solidify. Hello guys, we are back 72 hours after we made our bar soap. Now it's solid enough. We are going to remove them from the mold ready for use. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. If you like our videos, click on the like button. This is how our oval shaped soap look like. Now we're going to look on the rectangle. This is how it look like. Then you just need to pop all of them. We have different shapes. Uh, let's see. This one has a big star. It's a big star shape. And then we pop this. It's a nice shape. So this our our bus hop we made. We let let it sit for 72 hours. So this is how our bus soaps look like. They smell nice. They have different shape, different design depending on your mold. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscription button below here. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to comment or request for any other DIY we can make, please do so below there. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Bye bye.